let's talk about the newest and the hottest uh, kid uh, in the field of uh, display that is these uh, OLED based display or these organic uh, LED based uh, display and shown here is a cross section of uh, this um, OLED uh, display and the first thing you notice uh, looking at this cross section is that how simple it is and how few layers uh, it has in fact it has only two or three layers the uh, first layer you have uh, below is the TFT backplane or these uh, backplane uh, made up of these uh, thin film uh, transistors and uh, these are typically in the case of OLED display made of these material uh, made of this material called uh, poly low temperature uh, poly uh, silicon and uh, these essentially they provide the current which is uh, needed to uh, drive these uh, OLED uh, displays so since it's a uh, OLED stand for organic uh, light emitting diode and the key word over here is uh, diode so since it's a diode it needs to be driven by uh, a current and these uh, thin film transistors uh, provide uh, that uh, current as compared to a LCD display where you just need a voltage to manipulate uh, your display. And the key layer which is the most important layer uh, for these uh, OLED display is these uh, OLED uh, layer which consists of these uh, individual uh, light uh, emitting diode. So each of these uh, TFT transistors is uh, driving uh, this uh, OLED uh, layer over here and they essentially consist of uh, these uh, RGB light emitting diodes and they uh, essentially emit out the light from this uh, light emitting diode and since uh, this layer is at the very top you directly get uh, light uh, from the very top of the display unlike uh, your LCD where light is uh, coming from the below and it has to pass through a lot of layers so you get light from the very uh, top surface uh, which is this uh, light emitting uh, diode uh, layer and as a result of that uh, since uh, it has only few layers and the light is coming from the very top layer these uh, OLED based display have a very uh, good uh, viewing uh, angle so you can view these displays you know at a much larger angle as compared to a uh, LCD based uh, display so the key point there is notice how simple they are and how few layers they have so they are very simple uh, things uh, in terms of uh, the layer structure and how to manufacture them so now let's look at the important question of how does this uh, OLED based uh, display work or you know how does it actually uh, emit uh, light and that is uh, explained uh, with these uh, figures uh, over here and again it's uh, you notice the simplicity uh, in the operation of this uh, display so it uh, consists of uh, these uh, different uh, layers which uh, form the which uh, make this uh, OLED uh, display so to make a light emitting diode you need, need a layer uh, which can uh, transport your electrons so you have a electron transport layer and then you need a layer which can supply the hole so you have this hole transport layer and they combine and uh, these electrons and holes combines and uh, that generates the light and uh, to supply these uh, electrons and uh, holes you have a cathode and that's uh, typically placed uh, at the bottom uh, of the display and then you have uh, anode on the top and that's made of uh, again a transparent material so it's made of uh, transparent uh, conducting oxide and the most common material for making that is uh, indium tin oxide or this ITO layer and that's it so essentially you have a cathode you have anode which is transparent and you have these uh, different uh, layers two different layers to transport your electrons uh, and your holes in terms of uh, band diagram so this is how uh, it uh, looks like so remember these are organic uh, leds so they are uh, organic layers and they have uh, these uh, homo and uh, lumo layers which is equivalent to having uh, a conduction band and a valence band uh, in a crystalline material and then you have this uh, cathode layer 
which is a, a low work function layer it's made up of uh, materials like barium calcium and these uh, these uh, since it's a low work function it can easily transport or supply this uh, electrons into the electron transport layer and uh, on the top you have this anode which is made up of uh, ITO and uh, the good thing about ITO is it already has a large work function so it has this large uh, work function as compared to your uh, cathode and it can easily supply these holes to this uh, hole transport layer so it supplies these holes and uh, from uh, here you get your electrons and when they meet each other they combine and they emit uh, light which passes through this uh, anode and the light which is uh, pa reflected back it uh, so you know this light generation is in all direction but the light which reaches cathode is again reflected by back by this cathode and all of that light comes and passes through your uh, anode and the way you generate uh, different uh, colors is again uh, very uh, simple so you how you generate different colors is that you use uh, different molecules for making these uh, layers so shown here are some of these uh, different uh, molecules and they look like you know a lot of organic and benzene uh, rings uh, but essentially what they do is they have different uh, the energy uh, difference between their homo and uh, lumo layers and that gives you different uh, energy of the light uh, coming out and that way you are able to generate blue light, uh, green light and uh, red light. So again you notice the simplicity uh, in both the overall uh, structure of your LED and the simplicity in making this uh, LED pixel itself. And uh, so this uh, LED has been, uh, organic LED has been around uh, for uh, a while. It's just that it, uh, it, uh, it, you know, it, uh, it took a long time for it to reach uh, commercialization. But uh, the basic phenomena that these organic based uh, molecules can uh, emit light has was discovered by Mr. Pope who in uh, New York University back all the way back in 1960. And the first uh, crystal they used to play around with these uh, anthracene crystals and when you apply a large amount of voltage on these uh, crystals they used to uh, emit uh, light and then there was a lot of uh, development work which happened uh, in the university around uh, 1990s late 1990s uh, you know companies started to make these uh, displays and uh, you know the initial uh, displays were not so big and uh, more recently in uh, 2010 or you know around later part of uh, 2000 uh, there was a lot of interest from uh, different companies uh, trying to commercialize this technology uh, Samsung in particular has been a leader in uh, OLED based display as you can see over here it invested over uh, 5 billion dollar of capital into these display and most of the Galaxy smartphones uh, or Galaxy S2, S3 or even the Galaxy Note they uh, they use these OLED based display so shown here is their uh, latest uh, phone so this is a Galaxy uh, S3 and as you can see it uh, it says it uses a super AMO LED display so this is uh, more of a marketing term but what this stands for it's a uh, active matrix so that's what your AM is so it's an active matrix meaning that each of these uh, LEDs uh, are connected using an active matrix so they can be driven individually and uh, the key term here is that AM OLED so it's active matrix based uh, OLED uh, display and these are very prevalent uh, in uh, phones especially your uh, smart uh, phones.